arrived in the middle of the night. Oh boy, what a sight. This strange place was now their home. As if that wasn't bad enough, they uncovered a guy called Nuff. And now their lives are upside down. Never be the same with him around. Oh, mommy, an Egyptian mommy. Oh, it ain't funny. He's for real. Pharaoh, I've seen Pharaoh. Until he's healed The afterlife is pending an appeal And to keep him under wraps is an ordeal Ridiculous Oh, preposterous <laughs> That scroll has a lot of tasks Look, task 345 Show some consideration <laughs> <laughs> Task 467, stop picking your eye, gunk. <laughs> I'm just an ordinary demigod. What do they expect? <laughs> do you have any idea how this thing works? <laughs> I shall demonstrate with an easy one here. Task 3000. Develop an inner beauty that radiates love all around you. <laughs> Lousy Nubian sarcophaguses. Always malfunctioning. Can you not see my inner beauty? <laughs> What's happening? The <laughs> right in heaven. I've angered the gods. Save me. <laughs> Prince Nafra Tutti? <laughs> Naf? Is that you? <coughs> Master Set! <laughs> Who's Set? Oh, he was my uh, royal advisor back in Abu Simbel. He was a teacher? <laughs> he was more like a slave driver, actually. <laughs> and what do we call the architectural shape of the great tomb for the pharaoh Cheops at Giza? <laughs> it's a pyramid. <laughs> a pyramid. <laughs> How many times do we have to go over this? I thought it was a trick question. It's not a trick question, it's a pyramid. Fine, I heard you the first time. It is a pyramid. <laughs> That's one of those things with the pointy tops on, right? <laughs> Stand up straight. Assume the pharaohic stance. <laughs> no. Oh. Elbows up, shoulders back, eyes front. <laughs> You're a disgrace to the pharaohdom. <laughs> yes, Master Set. Listen to me, Prince Nuff of Abu Simbel. The gods have appointed me your guide to the Golden Palace. So there'll be no more of your slacking off. <laughs> From now on, I will be assigning you your tasks. And we'll start with task 458. Clean up your own mess for once. Yes, Master Set. <laughs> you have until sundown the day after tomorrow. Over and out! <laughs> He's a lot meaner once you get to know him, but still, he's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, but I have a feeling it's gonna get worse real soon. Oh? How can you be sure? Time for your first day of school, James. You wanna make a good impression. <laughs> I had a feeling. Protector. <laughs> How was your first day at school? Pretty routine, actually. Humiliated in gym class, singled out as an egghead in chemistry, and forced to sit at the geek table at lunch. <laughs> ah, yes, the geeks. My grandfather, Gaddick Apotzio, used to always say, never trust a geek bearing gifts. <laughs> uh, I think you mean Greeks. 
Never trust Greeks bearing gifts. Yes, well, we had some trouble with them too. <laughs> Forget the Greeks. I haven't even told you the worst part. <laughs> I'm in love. She's in my English class. <laughs> and she lives right across the street. <laughs> You're supposed to ask questions now. Like, what's she like and did you talk to her? You know, stuff like that. What is the point of talking to her? If you love the girl, just purchase her and be married. It is very simple. <laughs> Get married? I'm too young. Oh, come now, what are you, 13? You don't want to die a bachelor. <laughs> Wait a minute. How come there's a vacuum cleaner hose wrapped around you? I had a little adventure of my own. <laughs> Release me, you viper sucker! Will you? I was attempting to clean my own mess, but the dirt sucking machine is possessed by a demon of great cunning. It will not let me go. You think that vacuum cleaner's demonic? We told Mom she's this living room. James, are you home? Oh, and there's this girl, Brenda Hadley. She is the head of the biggest clique at school. She's the one who started the whole chunky ring craze. That's nice, dear. Did you learn anything? Yes. Brenda says, if you want to hide a figure flaw, do not wrap it in a vinyl python skirt. <laughs> <laughs> What in heaven's name happened here? Listen attentively, slave mother. Sarcophagus or no sarcophagus, I don't want my living room looking like it exploded. <laughs> now, I think that somebody has to start taking some responsibility around here. Well, James is in love. <laughs> she lives across the street. What? In love? <laughs> Gross. James! My James, in love, my James. <laughs> no, you told her? <laughs> that was kind of on a need to know basis. <laughs> you know, I'm planning a little get to know you with the neighbors Saturday afternoon. You can invite your little friend to come if you like. What, no! A get to know you here? Mm. How are we going to explain the ancient Egyptian mummy back from the dead? <laughs> what did we tell the neighbors? That he's an exchange student. There you go, problem solved. I am defeated. <laughs> I will never gain entry into the Golden Palace. Set will have me banished. Prince Nox, is that you? Uh, no, it's student Carmoon back from Thebes. Of course it's me. <laughs> Oh, Master Set, I cannot accomplish the task. That dirt sucking machine was made by the Romans, I swear it. <laughs> Did you ever think that maybe you were trying to clean up the wrong kind of mess? But all messes are the wrong kind. They're icky, dirty, and are the opposite of clean. <laughs> what about the kind of messes people get themselves into? You are talking above the prince's imperial head. This displeases me. You always do that. I do not. Yes, you do. I do not. Yes, you do. Do not. Do. Do not. Do do. Not. Do. Do not. Do 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 da 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 da. Finished. Quite through. The point is, there are other kinds of messes. Not just the messes made from dirt. Are you not following me? Of course I am not. <laughs> I follow no one. I'll have you know I too was a pharaoh. You were a pharaoh for one day. <laughs> it still counts. Fine. Figure it out yourself. Over and out. It's a 
noodles from across the street. They're out there with the pie. Pie? <laughs> this is terrible. No, I like pie. <laughs> you can't go out there like that. Put the ring on. What do you think? I think we should turn off all the lights and hide in the closet. Come. Fruit-filled pastry awaits. No, 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 enough. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. No, do not let fear of females keep you from flaky desserts. <laughs> Enter and take audience. Royalty awaits you. Our mother sent us over with a pie. We accept your tribute and hope it is of the apple variety. You may go. No. Oh, yes. The slave mother is having a get-to-know-you party on Saturday, and James would like you to attend as his future betrothed. <laughs> Do you accept? <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna vomit. No, no, not yet. <laughs> the girl for which my royal protector longs for has yet to accept. Can I bring my sister? No, your entourage is of no importance. <laughs> All right. If my mom says it's okay. Excellent! Danu Pala! <laughs> there. Your problem is solved. Now your mind will be free to concentrate on the immensity which is me. I, um, I still have a problem. Which is? You asked the wrong sister! <laughs> I like the shorter one with the curly hair! Oh. This is one of those people messes Seth was talking about, is it not? You can call it that. I do not understand. If you prefer one sister over the other, why do you not simply march across the street and make that pronouncement? It doesn't work that way in the modern world. You can't just change your mind. You're stuck with the sister you picked. No switching. Back in ancient Egypt, all matters concerning romance were devised to satisfy the desires of the male. <laughs> if a man simply tired of one wife, he just moved on to another one. <laughs> I had a cousin with 415 wives. 415? Mm, and only two bathrooms. <laughs> was not pretty. Ah, oh, ancient Egyptian women get very testy when they have to wait for the bathroom facilities. <laughs> well, that's women for you. Um, excuse me, I need this ball. Yeah, just... yeah thanks. <laughs> you know, I changed my mind. You can keep it. Not a lot has changed in 4,000 years. That has been made very clear to me. You know, you really don't have to come to this party if you don't want to. It's gonna be a little boring. No, I wanna meet your family. No, no you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. I mean, it's not like your family's weird, is it? I swear. If I see another toilet today, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> I had my hand down this one for so long, I thought I was gonna pull out a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, all I want right now is a nice cold drink and a warm TV. How you doing, kid? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nance. Nance? <clears throat> uh, Dad? Yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, pal, shoot. <laughs> what should a guy do if he accidentally asks one sister to something when he really wants to ask the other one? And now he's stuck with the tall cheerleader when he really wants the younger one with the curly hair. <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> You're in love, pal. Dad, huh? Shut up. <laughs> so much alright. This kind of thing happens all the time, sure. You know. 
you know, I, I remember when I was, uh, before I started dating your mother, you know, I, I, I was in a real bind there. You know, do I ask her out? Too? Do I ask her sister Rita? You know, Nancy, Rita, Rita, Nancy. <laughs> Are you saying you wanted to go out with Aunt Rita? <laughs> Look, can we uh, pretend we never had this conversation? What conversation? <laughs> Good boy. Go! <laughs> <laughs> I will clean up this mess that I've created, Royal Protector. And may God strike me down with a severe case of chariot chafing if I do not. There you are. <laughs> I keep seeing Egyptian stuff around your house. Don't you know? BC is so out. Oh, um, well, it's sort of a retro look. Retro? Yeah, very retro, as in a few millenniums ago. <laughs> Have you seen the sisters from across the street? They haven't shown up, and I'm thinking maybe they won't come, and then I'm off the hook. James, you're confiding in me. <laughs> uh, sorry, I guess. And if that mangy mummy of yours ruins any of my chances of getting in with Brenda Hadley, he will not be the only one walking around in bandages. Got it? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, commonly neighbors. Oh, do not feel the overwhelming urge to kneel and scrape before my demigodic presence. <laughs> I am merely an exchange student taking the semester off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody party's moving inside. Why are you wearing that? Shows my ankles off in a much more pleasing manner. No, men do not wear dresses. I am not a man. I'm a demigod. <laughs> They're here! Quick, strangle me to death! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! It's an expression! Ooh. Well, how am I supposed to know that? There is a woman over there. Don't look. She's wearing a t-shirt that is so mega gross, it would make your contacts melt. <laughs> Steffi! Aren't you going to introduce me to your new friend? Mom, this is Brenda. Brenda, this is my mother. <laughs> nice t-shirt, Mrs. Barnes. <laughs> Thank you. One of the women at the home made it for me. <laughs> you know, I bet I could get her to make one for each of you if you like. Hmm? <laughs> I would rather have my cuticles pulled out. Could you help me out with the sisters, please? I've already figured out a way to solve that problem. How? Ancient Egyptian magic. Only the pharaohs know how. But you were only a pharaoh for one day. <laughs> yes, but it was a day chock full of information. Ah, it's a true love dust. And what does that do? Oh, well, whoever he or she uh, tries the love dust is compelled to fall in love with whoever he or she sees first. Really? Yes, I put it on all the appetizers. Nuff, I don't think that was a good idea. Nuff. <laughs> Greetings, commonly sisters. <laughs> Do you care for an unappetizing toast? No, not you. You put that back now. Put that. Uh. Enough? Enough, I, I don't think I like this. I didn't even want to come to your stupid party. I think you're a geeky little runt. <laughs> what kind of true love dust is that? It is very similar to the truth dust. I think I put a few too many toenails in it. I made my sister come because 
I like you. Don't you think you should go inside and get the rest of the appetizers? <laughs> oh, right! <laughs> He's, uh, not related. <laughs> Truth is, I'd rather be watching football. No, the truth is, I don't even like these people. I just thought we should invite them to try and make an effort to get to know our neighbors. <laughs> well, it's the truth. My goodness, why am I saying these things? The exchange student would like all the toasty bits back, please. I am so embarrassed. I'm really sorry about this, Brenda. Hmm. Well, the truth is, I don't really care. I'm just pretending to like you, so I'll fit in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm shallow, and um, I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if you suck up to me, I'll like you. I knew we would be best friends. <laughs> Task 458. I cleaned my own mess. <laughs> <gasps> well, knock me over with a lotus leaf. I did it. Of course you did. Hey, you got a point. One down, only 3,251 to go. <laughs> King Tut Tut Tut, your princeship. <laughs> go back two tasks for making an even bigger mess than the one you tried to clean up. Better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I will be relying on your friendship for a lot longer, Royal Protector. <laughs> I hope you will not be leaving me to find matrimonial bliss with that brown-haired girl. <laughs> I think I can hold off for another couple of years. Mm. At least until I'm 50. This is between me and you. I am Prince Naf of Abu Simbel, and you, you are a venomous dirt sucker. <laughs> there can be only one to rule in this house. <laughs>